Hi there, and welcome along to Cinemas Lost Forever. Today we're travelling to Ipswich in Suffolk to have a look at two Odians that were, and a regent that remains. The original Odeon Ipswich was situated on Lloyd's Avenue and opened on the 7th of September 1936. The film showing was Ned Sparks in Two's Company and Ben Lyon in Dancing Feet. The Odeon was a stylish addition to Oscar Ducha's Odeon circuit. It was designed by Odeon regular architect George Coles in the popular Art Deco styling. Unfortunately though, it was crudely tripled in 1975 with two smaller screens being situated under the balcony and the original screen retained and viewed only from the balcony as screen one. The projection room for screen one was in a small corridor between the two lower screens under the balcony. But the Odeon was closed on the 3rd of July 1982 with screenings of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Quest for Fire and The Coal Miner's Daughter. Fortunately, it was de-tripled and converted into a bingo hall, first for top rank, and then Mecca, which remains open today, and much if not all of that original Art Deco work is featured once again. Now let's look at the Ipswich Regent. The Regent in Queen Street, Ipswich opened in 1929 with The Last of Mrs Cheney starring Norma Shearer and Basil Rathbone. An all-talking picture with front circle seats costing two shillings and fourpence, about 12p today. The luxurious Regent restaurant served tea to any one of the 14 boxes at the rear of the stalls. The popularity of cinema in the 1930s and 40s was so great that another cinema in Ipswich, the Ritz, which we are featuring in a video soon, was opened in 1937. In the 1950s, the Regent Restaurant was closed and replaced by the Victor Sylvester Dance Studio. In the late 1950s, the pop music phenomenon exploded and since then thousands of international artists have graced the theatre's stage, including Buddy Holly and the Crickets, the Beatles, Tina Turner and many, many more. The Regent Cinema was renamed Gaumont in 1955 and in 1985, a 186-seat Gaumont II was created rather hastily in the former dance studio. Both screens were renamed Odeon in 1987, but they closed as cinemas in March 1991 because Ipswich Borough Council had successfully negotiated with Rank to take control of the Gaumont Odeon for it to become a full-time live venue and they offered Rank a plot alongside the Gaumont for a new five-screen Odeon to be built. The Gaumont Odeon in Queen Street reopened six months later, once again as the Regent Theatre, after a full theatre makeover. It has since been restored, and seating more than 1,500 people is now the biggest theatre and concert venue in East Anglia. It was awarded a Grade 2 listed status in the year 2000. Finally, let's look at the Ipswich Odeon Mark II. The new five-screen Odeon multiplex built with help from Ipswich Borough Council on land adjacent to the region was opened on the 22nd of August 1991. When opened, it was one of the first generation of multiplex cinemas with five screens and space for more than 1,500 people. Seating capacities in the screens were 506, 318, 290 and the last two screens with 218 each. The exterior of the building was much maligned by local people who described it as looking like a ship coming into harbour. The Odeon suffered heavily due to nearby development of a virgin multiplex which was later taken over by Cineworld. The Odeon Mark II was closed on the 21st of August 2005 and sold to a property developer. It remained unused until May 2018. Plans were approved to convert it into the Hope Church. The Hope Church opened in late 2020. Well, that's about it for this time. Don't forget to click the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. We've got lots more videos coming up. After all, we've got about 2,000 closed cinemas to choose from. So there's lots coming your way. 
Thanks for watching, be kind to each other, and I'll see you soon. Ta-da.